Hello, today I am making chicken pot pie. And uh, this is one of my favorite comfort recipes, one of my go-to recipes. And so I wanted to show that to you today. So the first thing I'm doing is I just have two chicken breasts straight out of the pack. I'm using my um, professional shears here to cut out like all the, all the like fat and um, things that you don't want to bite down on when you're, when you're eating. So I'm just using these to cut right through it. It's a lot easier using these um, professional shears than using a knife. All right, that looks good. So now I'm just gonna cut this off. And I'm not looking like for perfection or anything. I'm just trying to get a little bit of it off because I just hate when you bite into like that chewy piece or that tough piece. Uh, ugh, just, it ruins the experience for me. So the professional shears and, or kitchen shears, either one, just really, um, make it super easy to get that off you don't have to use a knife and worry about cutting yourself and i'm all about safety in the kitchen i am accident prone so anything to make cooking safer is definitely a win for me okay so i've got that i'm going to take off this glove because next i'm going to use my salad choppers and I'm gonna shred up the chicken. We like to um, almost always have our uh, chicken or meat cut up into bite-sized pieces or at least into strips where you only have to cut it like once or twice with your knife. I usually do this after uh, the chicken's cooked because it just chops easier. But I'm doing this ahead of time because um, with chicken pot pie, I'm gonna be making a crust to go on top and I'm not gonna be able to put my salad choppers down into the chicken pot pie to do this. And there's also, I'm gonna be putting peas, English peas, into my chicken pot pie, and I don't wanna mash all those either. These salad choppers are great for making your own um, salad from lettuce. Um, so that's just another thing that's so much cheaper to buy a head of lettuce and use the salad choppers to chop it up than to buy the bag salads. It only takes you maybe, I don't know, 30 extra seconds. And this is coming from somebody who has lived off of bagged salads. Um, but since getting the salad chopper and just grabbing a head of lettuce and chopping it up, I'm not gonna go back because it's just so, so fast and easy with these salad choppers. Okay, so that's good enough. This also allow my chicken to cook faster because there's more surface area for it to cook. But it's more, for me, it's more about um, the bite size pieces in our chicken pot pie. Okay. So there's that all chopped up. Once again, using the salad choppers instead of using a knife, just a little uh, safer. Okay, so now I'm gonna take off my glove. Put that there. So next step, a can of cream of chicken. And I'm gonna be using one of my small scrapers. Oh, which I just had a minute ago, of course. Oh, here it is, okay. All right, I was gonna say it's missing. Uh, when here I have a half a stick of butter, I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the microwave. I need that butter to melt. That's gonna be for the crust. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do one can of cream of chicken. And then usually I use one can, which is about 14 ounces of uh, chicken broth here. I have a, um, a big jug and I used about half of it uh, when I was cooking last time so I'm just going to use almost all of it that time okay now if you were making chicken and rice instead of um, putting a crust on top this is when you would add in one cup of rice and, and then bake it of course with your seasonings. I'm about to do seasonings in just a second. So I'm just mixing that up. Okay, that's looking good. I am gonna add in a can of sweet peas. I prefer for the peas to be on the side. My husband for, prefers for the peas to be in the chicken pot pie. So he'll eat more than I will. So might as well just go ahead and put it in and it'll force me to eat some vegetables too. Okay, so now for the seasonings. I'm just going to give the top a nice coat of pepper. I'm going to do some onion powder and some garlic powder. They have to open up my new garlic powder. Yep, 
think it's time to open up. So here's some onion powder. And I'm probably doing about a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons. Here's my garlic. I have to open up a new can of garlic powder. Here we go. And then I'm just going to do just a sprinkle of oregano. There we go. Just lots of, I just love all the, the flavors that come with it. All right, so got that. So that's the base of the chicken pot pie. So now to do the top. So I've got my melted butter here. Let's just scoot you over because we'll need you. So now I'm going to need some milk and some all-purpose flour. I was just looking for my silicone prep bowls. They just came out of the dishwasher. And I need a scraper. I guess I'll use my, my scoop and serve, my other scrapers. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna start out with a half a cup of all-purpose flour. And about a fourth of a cup of milk. And then I'm just going to stir it up. I'm looking to make a thick crust. Of course, you could use a pie crust if you wanted to. This is just the way that I make it. Whew. All right. I'm going to do a fourth of a cup more flour. The silicone prep bowl is still still wet from coming out of the dishwasher. I love the silicone prep bowls because you can squeeze it and pour. That's really great if you have a KitchenAid mixer and you're trying to pour things in while it's still beating, that you can just squeeze it and get it right in there. My husband doesn't like a thick crust. I love a thick crust, but he doesn't. So that's why I'm just making a little bit. So I used, I ended up using three-fourths of a cup of flour, a half a stick of butter, and one-fourth cup milk. So if you wanted a thicker crust, I would use a whole stick of butter, melt that, do a half a cup of milk, and then a whole cup of flour. Those would be the, the measurements to use um, to make it nice and, and thick. All right, so then you just simply pour this over, do not stir. And this will spread out and rise. Oh, is this all? Yes, okay, all purpose, good. Good, good, good. All right, here we go. So that'll just give us a little bit of crust to go on top. And then of course you can serve this with um, rice on the side if you wanted to, or if you didn't want to do the crust and you wanted to pour a cup of rice in it and just stir it up, that would be unacceptable too. You know, it's your, it's your meal, however you want to serve it. But this is my chicken pot pie, how I make it. Just great comfort food, lots of flavor. You could add in carrots if you wanted to um, or not. You could take out the sweet peas. Basically, the, the baseline is chicken, um, a one can, one like 14 ounce can of chicken broth and one can of cream of chicken. Um, and then where you go from there is up to you.